hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to make this very cute doctor so what you're gonna need you're gonna need to uh three kinds of yarn the cord color the blue color and the skin color and also you can use some uh, black yarn for the hair or any kind of color that you want to use for the hair and also you're gonna need a crochet hook in my case i used a crochet hook uh, which is uh, 3.5 millimeters uh, like that it's 3.5 millimeters and that's all you're gonna need so let's get started okay so uh, we're going to start with the arms and the arms are quite easy so we're going to start with the magic ring first and then we're going to do four single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four okay and then i'm going to pull my yarn here to close the gap like that okay so after that i'm going to take my marker and in my case i like to use just a little bit of yarn then i'm going to put it over here so that I know where to start in the next row okay so after that uh, in our second row we are going to increase all the way around until the end for a total of eight single crochets okay so we're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch so increase increase in the first stitch so you're going to do two single crochet the same stitch okay increase in the second stitch okay then increase in the third stitch and also in the last stitch so we have a total of eight single crochet in the second row okay so after that uh we're going to do rounds of single crochet all the way to the end until we finish our arm so we're going to continue with this which is the skin color for the next eight rows okay so i'll show you uh what i mean i'll, I'll explain it to you so you're going to do single crochet all the way around for the next eight rows for a total of eight single crochet in each row until here so when you're done with the eighth row you're going to change to the to the clothes color or the doctor's clothes color so which is in my case i use the green color and then after you change you're just going to continue again for the next one two three four five six seven for the next again seven rows you're going to do single crochet all the way until the end okay so the hand is quite single crochets all the way to the end so after you're done here after you change to the blue skin color to the blue color uh, you can do fast in the uh, you can do single crochet fast in the back loops only and then continue until the end so the hands are quite easy so after you're done with that i'm going to show you how to start the legs or the shoes and for the shoes we're going to move up until we complete our doll okay so i'll see you when you're done with your hands and then all your arms and then i'll show you how to do the rest part of the body okay so uh you're going to do single crochet i mean in every round so you're going to do single crochet and then single crochet then continue again single crochet single crochet okay so continue like that until you have single crochet all the way around 
so you have a total of eight single crochet uh, until the until you're done with your arm in every row okay so we're going to start with the legs and for the legs we're going to start with the shoe color which is white color and we're going to start with the magic ring and then we'll do six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five six okay so after that i'm going to put my marker over there and then i'm going to start my second row and in my second row we're going to increase in every stitch for a total of 12 single crochet in this row so we're going to do two single crochet in each stitch so we're going to single crochet so you're going to do another single crochet in the same stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in every stitch okay so in the next stitch also we're going to do two single crochet in that stitch so it's a little bit tight because they're new stitches okay so two single crochet to do another single crochet in that stitch okay so, so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch okay so also do uh, two single crochet in the remaining three stitches so two single crochet two single crochet to single crochet until here for a total of 12 single crochets so after that uh in our third row we are going to do three uh single crochet in the first three stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three okay and then we're going to increase in the next three stitches so we're going to do two single crochet in each of the next three stitches so you're going to do two single crochet in the first first stitch so one then do another single crochet and then increase also in the next so you're going to do two single crochet okay and also increase in the next one do two single crochet again okay so after that also we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and then we're going to increase in the next uh in the last three stitches so you're going to do two single crochet in the first one two single crochet in the next stitch and two single crochet in the last stitch okay so after that uh, we're going to go to the row four and in row four we're going to work in the back loops only so we have the front loop and the back loop and we're going to do single crochet all the way around in our back loops only so you're going to go in the back loop do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so you're going to do single crochet in the back loop only until you get here where your marker is okay so after you're done doing your uh a single crochet in the back loop only now you have a total of 18 single crochets so in our round five we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 18 single crochet in that row so we're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay repeat that until here at the end for a total of 18 single crochets Okay, so after that uh, in our round six we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet okay and then we're going to decrease 
seven times so decreasing we're going to go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through go in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and pull through all the three loops so that is one decrease and then we're going to do again another six decreases so we're going to decrease seven times so we're going to decrease again the second time decrease again the third time Okay, decrease again the fourth time okay and then we decrease again the fifth time then decrease the sixth time and then decrease again the seventh time Okay, so after that, uh, you're going to do single crochet in the remaining two stitches. So you're going to do single crochet and then another single crochet. Okay, so we'll have a total of 11 stitches in that row. So now we'll finish making our shoe. As you can see, this is how it looks like. So now you're going to change to your pants color. So in my case, I'm going to change to the uh, green color which is the scrubs or the doctor's uniform color so let's do that and then i'll show you how to do the next row so after you change into the color so in my case i just tied uh so if you can do the magic knot or you can do the invisible knot so it's uh up to you so and then i'm going to place my marker over here and then after I do that, I'm going to slip stitch in this row all the way through until the end. So I'm going to slip stitch. So you're going to pull through, also pull through the next row, slip stitch in the next one, slip stitch in the next one. Okay, so you're going to slip stitch all the way through until here uh, where your marker is. So after you're done slip stitching uh in the in the next row which is the eighth row we're going to do single crochet in the back loops only for a total of uh, 11 single crochet in that row so you're going to go in the back loop and do single crochet okay go in the back loop of the next stitch also do single crochet and then the back loop of the next stitch do single crochet okay so you're going to single crochet all the way around in the back loops only until the end uh, for a total of uh, 11 single crochet so i'll see you when you're done until here okay so after you get to the end the remaining part is really easy so from row 9 until row 18 uh, we go for a total of 10 rounds we're going to do single crochet all the way through until the end for a total of 11 single crochet in each round so before you continue with your leg make sure you stuff your shoe and make sure you stuff the front part which is the protruding part uh, hard enough so uh, in the in the next 10 rows you're going to do single crochet all the way around so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so repeat that in this round and also the remaining nine rounds finish your round 18 in your leg you're going to cut off the yarn and then do the second leg and then i'll show you how to join the two legs together okay so after you're done with your legs this is how they should look like so we're going to join the two legs together and what we're going to do i'm going to do a chain one and then I'm going to pick my other leg. So make sure they're ma they're facing forward like that uh, by the look of the shoes. And then here you're going to uh, do a single crochet like that. Okay. And then I'm going to place my marker there so that I know where to end in the next round. So after that, I'm going to do single crochet all the way around. So I'm going to do single crochet, then single crochet, and the next stitch, single crochet, 
single crochet single crochet okay so repeat your single crochet until you get here until uh repeat your single crochet until you get here uh before the chain and then i'll show you how to continue all the way around until the after you get here uh where you did your chain one you're going to do a single crochet inside the uh the chain in the back side like that and then you're going to continue again single crochet all the way around in the other leg so we're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so you're going to repeat your single crochet and when you get here again where your chain one is do another single crochet until here where your marker is so we are going to have a total of 24 stitches in this row because uh, we had 11 stitches in the first leg 11 stitches in the second leg which is 22 and then one stitch in the chain and another stitch in the other end of the chain so making it a total of 24 single crochets so when you're done i'll show you how to do the next round okay so after you get here where your marker is uh we're going to do single crochet in the next 10 stitches then decrease then do another 10 single crochet decrease again for a total of 22 stitches so we're going to do single crochet single crochet one single crochet two two oh a little bit of time single crochet three four okay so repeat until you have 10 single crochets so after you have uh, 10 single crochets in the next two stitches uh, we're going to decrease so we're going to go in the front loop pull through go in the next front loop pull through and then pull through all three stitches and then again we're going to continue and do 10 single crochets so you're going to go in the next stitch and do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three okay so continue like that until you have 10 single crochet and then we're going to decrease here the last two stitches so after you get to the end we're going to decrease the last two stitches here at the end okay and then we're going to continue in our next row so now we have a total of 22 stitches so in our third row we're going to single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 22 stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet so repeat single crochet all the way until the end or until here where your marker is Okay, so after we're done with that, in our next round, uh, which is our round four of the body, we are going to do single crochet all the way around, but we're going to do in the front loop only. So you're going to go in the front loop, do single crochet. So this is where we're going to start doing the, uh, the top or the short. So you're going to do single crochet in the back loop only, single crochet, single crochet so repeat that uh repeat your single crochets in the back loops only until the the end or until here for a total of 22 single crochets okay so after you're done with that uh in our next row which is our row five of the body or of the other part uh we're going to do single crochets but we're going to do in the back loops only so you're going to do to go in the back loop and do single crochet then single crochet do again your yeah, single crochet single crochet okay 
so you're going to repeat that single crochet in the back close only until here at the end for a total of 22 single crochets okay so after you're done with that uh in the next three rounds you're going to do single crochet all the way around until the end for a total of 22 single crochet in each round so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so repeat that in this round and the next three rounds and then i'll show you how to do the remaining uh the remaining rounds okay so after we're done with your three rounds of single crochet uh, in our next row, we're going to start with single crochet in the next five stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, single crochet, four, and single crochet, five. Okay, and then after that we're going to decrease in the next two stitches so we're going to decrease we're going to go in the front loop and then in the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then we're going to pull through all, all of them together and then we're going to do single crochet in the next nine stitches so you're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three okay so repeat until single crochet nine okay so after single crochet nine we are going to decrease again in the next two stitches going to decrease and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining four stitches so you're going to do single crochet one single crochet single crochet and single crochet in the last stitch okay so after that uh, in this round you have a total of 20 single crochets so after that we're going to go in the next round and in the next round in the next two rounds we are going to do single crochet all the way around so you're going to do a single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so you have a total of 20 single crochet in this round and the next round so i'll see when you're done with the next round so that we continue together okay so after you're done uh with the previous row uh, with your 20 single crochet in this row we're going to start attaching the arms and uh we're going to start with 10 crochets we, on this on the front part of the body so you're going to do one two three four five six seven okay so anyway, uh, as you can see, it didn't get to 10 single crochet. So I'm going to attach my arm over here. So we're just going to uh, do to place our, our arm here. So you're going to check where your arm is best suited. So mine, I'm going to just place it over here. So I'm going to do single crochet around the arm too. So I'm going to place and do single crochet. And then around the arm going to do single crochet all the way through so single crochet single crochet single crochet so I'm going to repeat so that is eight single crochet in the arm as you can remember we should do single crochet all the way around single crochet okay so until here in the last stitch okay so and then when i get 
there at the last stitch I'm going to continue doing my single crochets around the body okay so you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around until I get here again at the side and then I'm going to show you how to attach the other arm okay. so when I get to the other side uh, of the body I'm going to take my other arm too which is here and then I'm going to do single crochet all around the arm just going to place the bow like that okay then I'm going to do a single crochet then I'm going I'm going to continue like that single crochet okay so continue the same way single crochet around the arm and single crochet around the body until we get here where the marker is after you finish go doing single crochet around your arm I'm going to continue here on the body and do my single crochet again so sorry I'm gonna do it a little bit loose so I'm gonna do another single crochet over here I don't want to leave any holes on the body because it's not gonna look good so when it's loose over here I just added another single crochet and then I'm going to continue here doing my single crochets again okay until where my marker is so this is how my body looks uh, like so far like that okay so after that I'm going to continue in my next round okay so now we have a total of 36 stitches so in my next round i'm going to do single crochet decrease single crochet decrease and repeat all the way around 12 times for a total of 24 uh, stitches so i'm going to do single crochet then decrease in the next stitch so i'm going to go in the back loop only of the next two stitches and decrease then do another single crochet and then decrease again in the next two stitches okay so you're going to repeat that all the way around until you get here where your marker is so you're going to do again single crochet decrease single crochet decrease single crochet decrease until the end for a total of 24 stitches Okay, so after you're done with that, so make sure you stuff uh, the body as we go uh, because it's gonna get more hard uh, as we go on, as we move on. So now in our round 10, uh, we're going to do 12 decrease all the way through. So we're going to do uh, to decrease all the way through 12 times for a total of 12 single crochets. So you're going to do two decrease so decrease in the next stitch okay also decrease in the next stitches okay so decrease all the way around until the end for a total of 12 stitches okay so after we're done with this row make sure you change into uh, the skin color because now we're going to start making the head okay okay so after you're done uh stuffing your stuffing your doll and everything i already did that so this is how it looks so the next uh stitch after you change into your skin color as you can see i already changed and uh now we're going to start making the head but uh in this row we're going to start with a slip stitch all the way through so you're going to go into the next row okay and then do a slip stitch in the next stitch then slip stitch okay so repeat that all the way through so you're going to slip stitch until the end all the way through so for a total of 12 slip stitches okay so do that slip stitch until the end so repeat that until you get here where your marker is okay 
so after you finish your slip stitches now we're going to start with our, uh, the other round of our head which is uh, we're going to call it the first round of our head and in the first round we're going to do 12 single crochet all the way around so you're going to do single crochet uh, in each stitch so you're going to do single crochet in the first stitch and then single crochet also in the next stitch a little bit tight because it's the uh, uh, beginning stitch okay so we're going to do single crochet then repeat that uh, all the way around single crochet and then single crochet okay so repeat your single crochets all the way around until the end for a total of of single crochets so you're done with that now we have a total of 12 single crochets so in our next round we are going to increase in each stitch for a total of 24 single crochets in this round so you're going to do uh, in the next stitch you're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch and then two single crochet in the next stitch Okay, so you're going to continue that until the end so increase two in the next stitch okay so continue increasing like that until the end for a total of uh, 24 stitches so after you're done with your second round uh, in our third round we are going to increase in the in all the stitches so in each and every stitch and now we're going to have a total of 48 stitches so you're going to increase so you're going to do two single crochet in each stitch so also two single crochet in the next stitch two single crochet in the next stitch okay so repeat like that all the way around until the end for a total of 48 stitches Okay, so after you finish uh, with your third stitch, increasing all the other stitches, uh, now you have a total of 48 stitches. So in the next eight rounds, which is row four until row 11, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each round for a total of 48 stitches in each round. Okay, so uh, that is quite simple. So you're just going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so you're going to do like that in this round and also in the next seven rounds so i'll see you when you're done with your eight rounds uh, uh so that we continue together in the 12th round so you're done with your 11th round uh in the next round which is our 12th round we are going to start decreasing and what we're going to do uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next six stitches then decrease and repeat that six times for a total of 42 stitches so we're going to do single crochet single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet Six, and then decrease in the next stitch so we're going to go in the front loop of the next two stitches pull through and then pull through all the three stitches then we're going to repeat that again so single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six and then decrease again so go in the front loops and pull through pull through and pull through okay so you're going to repeat that until the end so six single crochet decrease six single crochet decrease until here where your marker is for a total of 42 stitches so you're done with that uh in our next round which is our 13th round uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches 
decrease and then repeat that five times for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five and then decrease in the next two stitches okay and then you're going to repeat that again five single crochet decrease five single crochet decrease until the end uh, for a total of 36 stitches okay so after you're done with your 13th round uh, in our round 14 we are going to start doing the hair that's why I changed into the black color so you're going now to change into your hair color and uh, in this round we are going to slip stitch first all the way through so it doesn't count as a round I have to place my yarn well okay so this one doesn't count as a round so we are going to slip stitch all the way through all the way through until the end so you're going to do slip stitch then again slip stitch slip stitch slip stitch okay so repeat that all the way through until here where your marker is okay so after you're done slip stitching uh in our next round we are going to work in the back loops only and we're going to do single crochet all the way around in the back loops only uh for a total of 36 stitches so you're going to go in the back loop and do single crochet then also in the back loop of the next stitch and do single crochet it's, quite, it's a little bit tight because of the slip stitches okay so do single crochet okay also in the back loop of the next stitch do another single crochet Okay, so repeat that all the way around until the end in the back loops only and do single crochet until here for a total of uh, 36 stitches. After you're done with that, uh, in our next row, which is our 15th row, we are going to do four single crochet, then decrease and repeat all the way around until the end uh, for a total of 30 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet. single crochet one two three four and then decrease in the next uh, two stitches okay and then you're going to repeat that again one two three four and decrease again okay so you're going to repeat that until you get to the end for a total of 30 stitches so you're going to do four single crochet decrease four single crochet decrease all the way around so after you're done with that round uh in our next round which is our 16th round we're going to do three single crochet decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do a single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and then decrease in the next stitches then you're going to repeat that again so three single crochet one two three and then decrease okay 
and then you're going to repeat that all the way around until the end for a total of 24 stitches so after you're done with that uh in our next row which is our 17th row we are going to do two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do one two and then decrease in the next stitches decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that again one two and then decrease again okay so you're going to repeat that all the way around until the end okay so make sure you stuff your doll as we go so i already stuffed mine as you can see so this is how it's supposed to look like okay so on our next round which is our 18th round we are going to do a single crochet decrease single crochet decrease all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then decrease in the next two stitches okay so repeat that again so single crochet and then decrease again okay so you're going to repeat that all the way until the end so single crochet decrease single crochet decrease until here where your marker is okay so after you're done with that row now in the next row which is our last row uh we're going to do we're going to decrease all the way around for a total of six single crochet and then uh so this will be our, our final round of the head and then we are done when we are done you're going to cut your yarn and finish off so you're just going to decrease okay also decrease okay so you're going to repeat that decrease all the way around until your hole is closed and then when you're done you just you're going to cut your yarn and then um, finish it off and then I'll show you how to make the cord so uh, now for the gown or for the coat uh, we're going to start with the sleeves and the sleeves we're going to start with the chain 12 so we're going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine 10 11 and 12 okay so after you got you're done with your chain 12 uh we're going to attach here at the end so we're going to slip stitch in uh here and then to attach the two of them together like that okay and then uh after we do that we are going to do single crochet all the way around until the end okay so I'm going to place my marker over here okay and then I'll show you how to do it so we're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so okay so you're going to repeat your single crochet all the way around until here at the end for a total of 12 single crochets after you're done with this round uh the next part is quite easy so from the next row uh which is the third row until the 11th row which is for the next uh nine rounds you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 12 single crochet in each row so uh when you're done with your arm doing your single crochets you should have uh something that looks like this 
and then you're going to make two and then i'm going to show you how to make the main part of the cord okay so for the main body of the cord uh we're going to start with a chain 25 so we're going to do one two three four five six so repeat until you have a chain 25 after you're done with your chain 25 uh in the next row uh we're going to start with the second chain from the hook and we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 24 single crochet so you're going to skip the first chain go to the next one and do single crochet then go to the next one do single crochet okay so do that all the way around until the end for a total of 24 single crochets so after you're done with that uh we're going to turn over you're going to turn over your uh, your yarn and then i mean your work and then do a chain one and then after you do your chain one you're going to start doing single crochet again all the way around until the end uh, for a total of 24 single crochets so do that all the way around until the end okay so we're going to repeat uh this same row same as the the second row uh for the next 20 rows so you have a total of 22 uh, rows okay so you do a chain one single crochet all the way around and then turn again do a chain one and do single crochet all the way around and repeat again until your robe has uh, a total of 22 rows okay so you're going to have you're going to have a total of something that looks like this so i have a total of 22 rows and then i'm going to show you how to attach the parts together now we're going to attach our arms together and what we're going to do we're going to do seven single crochet first so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five six and seven okay and then after you're done with that uh, you're going to take uh, the arms one of the arms like that and then we're going to do single crochet all the way around so for a total of 12 single crochets okay so I'm going to do single crochet in the arms so single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve okay so after you're done with that uh we're going to continue in our gown again so uh in the next stitches we're going to do single crochet in the next 10 stitches so we're going to do again single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine 
10 okay and then after that I'm going to take my other arm over here and then I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to do single crochet all the way around around the arm going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve, and then I'm going to continue doing my single crochet in the next in the remaining rows uh, in the remaining seven stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet so repeat single crochet until the end like that Okay, so until here at the end okay so when you get here at the end I'm going to do a chain one I'm going to turn my work do a chain one and then in the next two rows I'm going to do a single crochet all the way around so you're going to do single crochet single crochet and then when you get here at the end do a chain one and do another round so we have a total of 48 uh, single crochet in the next two rows so i'll see you when you're done with the with the next two rows so that i'll show you to do the last three rows so after you're done uh with your two rows uh in our next row we are going to do a chain one and then uh we're going to decrease 24 times uh for a total of 24 stitches in this row so we're going to start decreasing okay so uh, we're going to go in the first loop, in the front loop, and then pull through, go in the next loop, pull through, and pull through all of them. Okay, so we're going to repeat that again. So decrease in the next stitches, and then decrease again. So we're going to decrease. Okay, so you're going to decrease all the way through until you get here at the end so you have a total of 24 stitches so you decrease until the end this is how it looks like so after that uh, you're going to turn your work and then do a chain one and then after you do a chain one in this row we're going to do single crochet all the way through to the end so you're going to do single crochet and then repeat that again single crochet single crochet single crochet so repeat to the end for a total of 24 single crochets okay so after that uh our next round which is our round 30 is our last round so in this round we're going to chain one and then after that we are going to decrease all the way through until the end so you're going to decrease in the first two stitches and then decrease again okay and then decrease then decrease okay so you're going to decrease all the way through until the end and then after that you're going to cut your yarn and fasten off
guys as you can see i just finish uh, my coat i cut off my yarn so as you can see the hands are quite big as you can see but um i think it's okay i, I can fold it over here at the end and also the coat looks like this so it's up to the ankle level okay so for the mask uh, if you don't know how to make the mask i used the same pattern that i used but uh when i was making my little bear in a mask video so if you don't know how to make it i'll link it in the description below then you can go and see how to make it and then for the eyes also you can look for the uh, best part to attach your eyes and everything together so that's it guys so that's uh my doctor so if you want you can make uh some additional features that you like and uh anything else that you want to make so i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up until next time bye